Hello guys, SilverPlayer22 here, bringing another informed Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Marvin Ziegler, if that is how you pronounce it correctly. I'm really impressed with myself. Hopefully it is. Let me know in the comments below. I know I've got a few Dutch people who watch. And yeah, before I get on to reviewing him, I know there was a couple of requests for the informed Castellan from the A-League. He is another Dutch player. But unfortunately, I did start to try him, but I just found him so boring. I just I just couldn't be bothered doing him, to be honest. He, was, he just really didn't offer anything you know dribbling pace i know he's an exciting player in real life and he, and he the reason he got an inform was he i think he came on as a sub and got three goals to get get his team back in the game or something i can't really remember but a really interesting player but i just I, I just couldn't use him on fifa i found him so boring anyway marvin ziegler he's a dutch international but he doesn't actually play for the nat national team um anyone got any reasons for that below i know he started off fifa as a bronze so maybe he's sort of just coming into his prime i think he's 25 years old now he's six foot one three star three star he has 83 pace 78 dribbling 67 shooting 73 defending 75 passing and 80 physical when we go to have a look at his in-game stats, they continue to be amazing. Look at those mental and physical. Now, I think the first thing that you notice is this guy, when we're looking through his mental and physical, as well as his skill, has incredible stats for both defensive areas and also attacking areas, which is incredible because... Obviously, he starts off as a left back. Now, when we have a look at his positions, he is capable of playing left wing. So that's interesting. He has medium, medium work rates, which was incredibly noticeable because this guy was desperate to get up and down the pitch as much as he possibly could. One thing I would say is I played him as a left wing back because I started off playing him as a left back and he just got too far forward for me. I really don't like five of the back formations, but for this guy, I thought since he's trying to get forward anyway, might, might as well try him as a left back, wing back and he really flourished there. It was an incredible... I, I really enjoyed him. I, I thought he was fantastic at uh, passing both short range and long range. His crossing was fantastic. I mean, look at this free kick. I haven't put his free kicks down as a positive because I only had one with him, but that free kick sort of implies that he has some talent in that area. His strength was decent. His heading wasn't the best, but I don't really see that as a, necess a necessity for a left back. It's more of an added bonus. And... As far as his tackling goes, you'll see in a couple of clips, he had some amazing tackling. I, I saw a video clip a while back of uh, Arturo Vidal and some of his best tackles where he sort of slides, uh, slide tackles a player, but somehow still manages to get the ball and keep moving. This guy was like that. He could slide tackle someone, take the ball off them, and burst forward on a run. And that's what I thought made this guy so special. He had everything defensively as well as offensively. And for that reason... I thought it was only fair for me to give him quite a high score. So I've given him a 7.9 out of 10. I really feel like this guy would fit nicely into a gold Liga Portuguesa or a gold Netherlands squad. He really felt a lot higher than his rating. I thought a 76 to a 78, but even maybe a bit higher if you're playing him as a left wing back. I know most people don't play a five at the back formation, but if you were going to, I think this guy is absolutely perfect for that role because he's excellent going forward, but also will give you cover at back. Anyway, guys, just to end the chat today, which team of the season player are you looking forward to using the most? It is oh it's supposed to be tomorrow i'm very excited about this as i'm sure a lot of you are i'm going to upload as many as i possibly can i'm just going to upload them as i review them so if you want to keep you know not, you know an eye on when reviews are coming out follow me on twitter at silverplate 22 to and i'll let you know when what's coming out and when uh, also guys let me know how you think i'm doing with the channel obviously i'm new back to it and i'm not the best at everything but hopefully you'll let me know if there's things you want me to improve cheers guys